The K Sam Wake Up Morning Show. All right, here we go. Good morning to you. I saw this story here and I immediately think, wait a minute, I've seen this before. I've heard of this before. So this is one of those stories that reminds you that we're living in the future. A tech startup company in California called Reflect Orbital, they're planning to use mirrored satellites to sell people sunlight when it's dark outside. What? That's super cool. Yeah, so so they the, the, it's mainly designed to help the big solar farms keep generating power at night. Uh-huh. But but what they're going to try to do, they're going to put a constellation of satellites into orbit uh, work uh, at, that can reflect sunlight and direct it to the earth. I am investing. And so You need a pretty big plot of land to get approved for this. Uh, Each patch of sunlight will be about three miles across, so your neighbors may not be too wild about it. Um, But it's not clear how much they're planning to charge, but it won't be cheap. Uh, So don't expect to have sunlight 24-7, at least not yet. But I started thinking about this. Where have I seen this before? I had a dream about it. I know exactly where I saw it. Where'd you see it? The worst Batman movie ever made was Batman and Robin with George Clooney. Oh, don't remember that. Against against Doctor Freeze, the, the, when uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger played Doctor Freeze. Yeah, they reflected the sunlight using satellites onto Gotham City to thaw out the city from from the oh, uh, freeze. Yeah. That's where I've seen it before. <laughs> Darn you, old Batman! Riley Green, right there on uh, K Sam. We've a great new song from him, by the way. Okay, this has got to be one of the most annoying things. I've ever heard of. So everyone has a take on the most annoying things, but this is clearly the biggest thing. And it's about social media influencers. You know how they uh-huh. will do all these things, that trying to get a, see to if get a trend attention. will catch on. Yeah, so they yeah. do these things. So there's apparently a trend that they're, these influencers are trying to start where they go to the security line at the TSA line. Okay. You know, when you get in the security line at the airport, they, they give you the uh, bucket that you put your wallet and your belt and keys right. and your rings and your, you know, you know, phone and stuff. You know, you put it in a little bucket that goes through the uh, x-ray machine, right? Right. <sighs> These people are so stupid. What'd they do now? Okay, they are now staging their TSA trays. Like, what? like, like, it, it's who has the best looking TSA tray. I'm so glad I have P- they I have, have TSA pre check. Oh, I don't they, worry about that. They, they, they put all of their belongings in the gray tub. Uh, everyone has to go through security. And so, but, but they get the gray tub and they put the keys in there and they spread the keys so they look just perfect. And then put the wallet over here in this corner. Oh my gosh. And then they put like their, their umbrella right here. And then they put their little, you know their little their cell phone right here and they stage it and then they take a picture of it and then they let it go that and, and then they help. post it online they're trying to start a, a and it's a stupid trend yeah that is that is dumb. And can you imagine how oh, much time that's going to take that's... in the line that people are already mad that they have to go through anyway yeah i i feel like sometimes ah. these influencers take it a little bit too far no offense but it's, it's like it's come dumb. on it's dumb get people well, in and out that's security's job somebody asked the tsa about it and they implied that it hasn't become a big problem yet they say as long as these staged glamour shots are not causing any delays with other passengers they don't really have an issue with it. You do what you're going to do. Just don't hold up the line. Once you start holding up the line, yeah, people are not going to like you. Then we're going to have some problems. They're mm-hmm. going to send you to that little room to the left for a mm-hmm. deeper discussion. <laughs> wait, wait! It's my glamour shot. Yeah, yeah. Look at how I decorate my little yeah. tray at TSA. Pre- up against the wall, there, Bubba. <laughs> Garth Brooks and Shameless on 101.7 KSAM, your hometown radio station. Good afternoon. I'm Carlos Zimmerman. As we hang out here in your lunch hour, your weather forecast is on the way. Pam Tillerson, Sammy Kershaw around the corner. Well, a happy National Lemon Juice Day to you guys. That's not to be confused with National Lemon Day, which was last month, or National Lemon Month, which was back in June. Hmm. Well, right on cue, a lemon-related hack is making the rounds online, but is it a good hack, good hack or just more TikTok nonsense? Apparently, tossing half a lemon in your dishwasher supposedly kills bacteria and prevents lime scale from building up. The folks at Food & Wine looked into whether it really works, and the answer is, in theory, yes, it does. 
The acidity might help with lime buildup, but overall it's probably not worth it, and you can't just toss half a lemon in there either. The seeds can clog or break the machine, so you have to remove them first. Half a lemon aren't gonna do much anyway. You need to use multiple lemons for this. Consumer Reports looked into this same hack last year and found it's better to just use a cleaning solution designed for de-scaling dishwashers from that line. See? More TikTok nonsense. We love it. The Mavericks, along with Flaco Jimenez, all you ever do is bring me down on 101.7 KSAM. I'm Carlos Zimmerman. A happy Tuesday, Tuesday to you. Your weather forecast coming up. Got some Reba coming your way, along with Vince Gill this hour as well. Don't have a food story today, but I do have this. You young people out there that may be tuning in. I know you guys hate phone calls. I mean, I'm one of the rare ones. I, uh, I call people a lot when I could easily just send that in a text. Um, but a recent poll found 23% of people under 35 never answer the phone. So if you're calling them, you better have a good reason. Well, 2,000 people were asked to name the most acceptable reasons for calling someone instead of texting in 2024. And here are some of the highlights. For a general chat, you just want to catch up. You know they're not working, so if they're under 35, you might still want to text first. You want to call when you show support when someone's going through a tough time, absolutely. You call them to wish them a happy birthday. Call when you're running late, like you're driving and can't text, or you want to make sure they don't miss your text. To announce positive news, like, we're pregnant! <laughs> Calling in sick to work, that's a good idea. Call, don't text. When you're lost or trying to find somebody, like if you're in a mall somewhere, say, Pff, goodness gracious. This is why I wish I saw... You're going to learn a fun fact about the Z-Man today. Um, I didn't have my first phone until I was 18. So anytime that we were in the mall or something with my parents and my sister and and uh, if it was just me and my sister off together, we didn't have phones. So how are we supposed to find mom and dad? Like, I never understood it, but I look back on it now and I'm like, hmm, it's probably good I didn't have a phone in high school. I think the pros outweigh the cons, but anyway, it is what it is.